hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We're starting this video off in Sydney, Australia, in my study. But by the end of this video, we're gonna be in a completely different location, in a completely different country. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this travel day. I mean, I'm super excited that I'm finally gonna be getting on a plane in nearly three years, but this trip, there's just a lot of logistical planning that went into it in terms of booking flights, in terms of booking a quarantine hotel. And the last sort of hurdle that, that we need to jump over is I need to have a negative PCR test that's taken 48 hours before boarding. These test costs $145 a pop. Hey, good, thank you. That's good. I'll just check your passport. Yeah. Great, you'll get that in six to 12 hours. Okay, thank you so much. Right. I am just doing some last minute shopping to buy some snacks, to buy some toothpaste shampoo, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There aren't too many people here today, so we'll try and get this done as soon as possible. These are the snacks that I'm bringing for my week of quarantine at the hotel. When my sister saw this, she was like, is this all you're bringing? But like, you know, I get food at the hotel and I can also like order their equivalent of Uber Eats. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get some more. Okay, my test results just came back. Hey, my test results just came back. My pin. We're negative. We're gonna be traveling tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. MVP for today, my sister who's driving us to the airport. Okay, we are just done with the check-ins at um, Cathay Pacific. So we had like a lot of documents that we need to show them, like our vaccination, our you know, negative COVID tests, and oh, uh, a proof that you have a hotel quarantine. The lines are really, really long now. So I'm glad, I'm glad I got here earlier. But we're gonna go and head in. I'm super, super excited. It's been so long since I've been at the airport and <laughs> looking around and seeing everything it just it's bringing back memories like even even the chaotic energy that being in an airport brings it's it's exciting okay we have just made it to the other side i always get randomly selected for the for that additional test but anyway let's um let's go check out the lounge Okay, I have just arrived at the Annex Lounge. I can't remember the last time I came here, but this looks very different to the last time I remembered it. It is definitely a lot bigger. There's a variety of different food, buffet style that you can get from the counter. And there's also beer on tap. And I think there's coffee as well, because I see people getting coffee. I'm so hungry. I am so, so excited. We've got sausage, hash browns, bacon.
Okay, I've been here so long, the buffet has turned from a breakfast buffet to a lunch buffet. And of course, of course I'm gonna go and find out what's available and then show you. So these are the lunch options. There's salads, still got the cheeses. Tuscan chicken wings with stir fry hock and noodles. Jasmine rice with beef and coconut curry. We also have beef bolognese, pizza, and pancakes. So my lounge access, three hours is over. So I'm just gonna be chilling out here at one of the sitting areas, one of the resting areas until it's closer to my flight departure time. And yeah, I just wanted to talk quickly about what the whole experience was like checking in and whatnot. I think the destination that I'm flying to, there are a lot of documentation that you need to show prior to being able to fly, which is why when we were lining up for the baggage drop, each person probably took about 15 to 20 minutes. But, but like everybody at the counter were, were super nice, even though this was, you know, such a long process. So I really did appreciate that a lot. So where I'm at right now, it's not super crowded. It was a lot more crowded outside. And honestly, I'm just so, so excited that I'm about to get on a plane. I'm about to get on a plane for the first time in nearly three years. Like, I'm excited to like eat plain food. <laughs> That's how excited I am. All right, hello, hello, hello. So I'm flying premium economy with Cafe Pacific and this is my seat. We started off with a drink. I got whiskey, just kidding, it's apple juice. I was initially seated in a four seater right in the middle, but I got switched to a window seat last minute and there's no one next to me just yet. I usually don't pay attention to this, but this time I did, it's been so long. But you know what this means. We are about to take off and there's no one next to me. Takeoff is always the part I find most exciting. There was actually quite a bit of rain initially. This looks like we're underwater, but everything was smooth. So we got given these little packs and there are socks, an eye mask, toothpaste, earplugs, and a toothbrush. I also picked up a care kit as I was boarding, which had a mask and wet wipes. Pleasantly surprised at how far back this seat goes. And here comes the first meal for this flight. Okay, so for lunch there was salad, which was all right, bread, which was also all right, and I opted for potatoes and chicken. The chicken was surprisingly not tough. This was super yummy, and we also got ice cream. And welcome to dinner with a side of mild turbulence. Now, the choice was between shepherd's pie or nazi lemak with chicken skewers, and the moment I made my choice, I had regrets because I saw how good the chicken skewers looked. This is probably as good as a pie can taste on a plane. It didn't have the texture you'd expect, but look, I polished it. You can't really go wrong with fruit, but this was a bit of a miss. Are now en route to our quarantine hotel. It is currently 11.34 Hong Kong time. We landed I think around two hours ago. I don't know how long check-in and stuff at the hotel is going to be but hopefully, hopefully not too long. We are officially in Hong Kong. I've checked into my quarantine hotel for the week. The process after getting off a flight in Hong Kong is actually quite long. It is currently 12.30 at night or 2.30 Sydney time. And I'll tell you all about that process tomorrow. I'm so tired, I need to get some sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow. And it is now the morning. Good morning. Welcome to Hong Kong. We are in my hotel room where I will be spending quarantine for seven days. 
I arrived in Hong Kong yesterday at around 9.30, 9.45, and I didn't get into this room until 12.30. So the process from getting off your flight to getting to your hotel is quite a lengthy process. I actually wrote it down because I wanted to talk to you about it. So once you get off the flight, you're directed to take the airport shuttle to another part of the airport. Anyway, the first thing that happens is they scan your QR code. You're meant to complete a health form online prior to that. So they scan it and then they give you um, this little green badge thing that you wear. And they also give you a test kit. And then you get directed to another station where they complete a PCR test and also your rat test. And then afterwards, someone checks your identification, like your Hong Kong ID or your passport. And they give us a quarantine order, which has details of your quarantine, like when you start and when you finish. And they also give us this booklet, which is just information. And then after that, we get redirected to another area where we wait for our rat test results. And here you do get some snacks. And then after your rat test results are here, you take the airport train back to the arrivals hall where you collect your luggage. And after you collect your luggage, you get directed to the arrivals hall where there are multiple lines and which line you stand in is dependent on which quarantine hotel you're staying at. And then once we get to the hotel, the check-in process itself is also quite lengthy. And by the time everything was done and I was in my lift with my luggage, I was like, thank you. I can finally sleep. I walk to my room with my heavy luggage, swipe the hotel card and it goes red. I was like, nah, nah, no way. And I did it two times, three times, four times and it was still red. I couldn't get into my room. And there was no way I was gonna lug my luggage back down to reception because it was just so heavy. So I left it in front of my door, walked back out to the lift lobby. And as I was going to go and press on the lifts, I noticed that none of the lifts were working. They were all out of order. And the reason for that is because once you enter into your room, you're not allowed to leave. In fact, your key card only works once. The thing is, I haven't even entered my room yet. And then I was like, there's no way I'm gonna walk down the stairs back down to reception. We're on a relatively high floor. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw one phone. I walked towards the phone. That phone had no number pads at all, but there was one red button. And I was like, you know what? Let's see what happens. And it started ringing. And I was like, please, please, please someone pick up. Please someone pick up. And then someone picked up. So I was very happy. Uh, anyway, yeah. We are gonna be spending the next seven days in this very room. I'll give you a full extensive room tour and show you exactly what I'm eating. Uh, in my next vlog, I'm actually really curious to find out what food they serve us. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Look, look at all those people. They're free. Packing their bags, about to drive off. Nice.